Looks like some chips got wrapped up on the part. And then the uh, subspindle jammed it forward because I can see some push marks on the stock. You see those right there? See those little burrs that push up? That jammed back in the collet. So we're gonna back it up. We're gonna inspect the collet real quick. This is the things when you're running production like this. You know, it's that whole process stability stuff. And you're trying to get to that point where it just runs pretty much unattended. But it takes hours and hours, days and days of running to find all these little things and then find the fixes. So we're going to back that up so we can check the collet. I don't anticipate there being any damage, but we got to look at it. I might stone that edge a little bit, actually. Clean that up a little bit. And we're gonna feed the stock back through. So I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera there, but you can kind of see where it slid. And that's where the uh, sub spindle jammed it back. So we're gonna cut that off. And we'll start again. Everything's moving smooth on the sub side, so. I don't think it was a subside issue. It was really just chips got in the way, kind of just randomly, you know, you run hundreds of parts and then you have one, one chip get in the wrong spot, the air blast won't clear it, and there you have it. This restart is what got me last time, but not gonna get me this time. Bar feet alarmed out, restarting the program. And missed that the V-axis wasn't home, but it's now home. You see a little light. Plus I've added a safety move in the program to assure that it always goes home at the head of the program because that's where it's supposed to be when it does its machining. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.